favorite meal from home while we tell you about our experiment that we ran while we were at college because it literally kind of changed our life. We started. Did. Tell them what we did. Okay, so I saw this TikTok that was like this girl talking about her favorite affirmations. This and was like, like three months ago. Yeah, this was a while ago. And she said that she was always just like, I don't know why, but everything just works out for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't understand why, but the universe always makes things work out for me. Like, it was like, just... I'm so lucky. We were just we're like, so I'm so lucky. lucky. Everything works out. I'm so lucky that everything just always, like, works for us. So then, we were talking about this on our little walk that we went on on campus. Mm-hmm. And we were like, okay, we had a little issue. And the little issue that we had was we were like, frick, sometimes stuff don't be working out for us. And we both True. wanted... In our new apartment. <laughs> we both wanted the bottom bedroom. Yeah. Because there were two bedrooms on the bottom, two on the top. We are like, ooh, we want the bottom bedrooms. Bottom bedrooms. But we were like, no, like, we want our roommates to, like, also have what they want. So we are like, yeah. everything just works out for us. Like, it just works out. So we started saying this, and we said it all the fucking time. Yeah, every time. we said it, like, time. going to the library, like, any time we would see each other, any time. Like, we still say it all the time. Yeah, just, like, I still say it. I'll be, like, driving in my car, and I'm just like, wow, I can't believe how well, everything just, just works now. out for me. We just went to get these noodles. Yeah. And we're like, well, they might be closed. No, we got mm-hmm. there. We're like, everything just works out for us. So... Anyway, our roommate comes mm-hmm. to us, like, literally, like, the next day, two days later. It was, like, right after. It was literally right after. And she was like, I thought about it. I'm like, I think you two should have the bottom bedrooms. Like, I want to have the yes! top bedrooms. And we were like, everything works out for us. Yeah, everything works out for us. And like, then, thanks. Yeah. The, the flip phone idea. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Here, wait. Yeah, you get it. I got it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, everything works out for us. That was meant to happen. <laughs> that was meant to keep user engagement. True. Oh. Um, <laughs> but. My noodles. When the flip phone video went viral, we had the idea together, like, this is my friend who also does it with me, yeah. like, has a flip phone, too. And we were, like, having our conversation. She's the she's the bitch that all you guys are talking about in the comments. Wow, maybe you should be more like your friend and just keep your phone in your pocket. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to be more like her. No, I want flip phones. <laughs> oh, no. What? Did I just spill? Yum, yum, sauce. Fuck. <laughs> okay, everything was over. No! You guys! Uh... Okay, anyway, had the flip phone idea. It resonated with all of our friends. Mm-hmm. We were like, holy shit, everything just works out. Made that video. Everything worked out. Like, crazy. oh my god, went crazy. Everyone thought it was a great idea. Except for, like, a few random 12-year-olds. But we don't <laughs> care about them. Anyway, um, yeah. It was literally just, like, an experiment. We were like, let's see if it works. And, like, it literally it does. Works. Everything like, just works out. It, everything works out. Use that. Use that. Like, just try it and see. Yeah. Because, like, especially in college, like, that shit is so powerful. Yeah. Like, everything works out for us. And I you thought pass I was your so... Yeah, I got, I got I got flying colors. Dude, I went above average on my Spanish final. Yeah. Everything just works out. Try this, bitch. Try it. Do it. Everything works out. Yes! I get everything I want because that's just the way it is. Things are always working out in my favor. I am so lucky. What's meant for me never misses me. I get everything I want because that's just the way it is. Things are always working out in my favor. I am so lucky. I get everything I want because that's just the way it is. Things are always working out in my favor. I am so lucky. What's meant for me never misses me. I am always at the right place at the right time. I'm just that lucky. I get everything I want because that's just the way it is. Things are always working out in my favor. I am so lucky. What's meant for me never misses me. I am always at the right place at the right time. I'm just that lucky. Miracles effortlessly flow to me. The universe allows for luck to always follow me. And so it is. Lucky girl syndrome. Everyone's talking about it, but no one's teaching you how to do it, so listen up. A couple years ago, I was living paycheck to paycheck. I didn't like where I was living. I was dating someone who wasn't making me happy. Basically, my life was in complete shambles. I was so tired of being broke all the time. I was tired of not feeling fulfillment in my work. I was tired of not liking my apartment, even though my apartment was really cheap and that's what had kept me there for so long. One day I got the courage and I was like, you know what, even though I'm not paying a lot in my apartment, I have to take a financial hit and move and just like find a way to create a new life for myself. And I also knew that I was gonna have to change my attitude because I was someone who was very, woe is me, everything bad always happens to me because I honestly did feel like everything bad did happen to me, but you can't look at life that way. And I knew I had to change. So I started doing research. I knew that there were lots of successful people out there 
And I decided I was going to figure out how they did what they did. I read financial books. I read self-development books. I've read books about therapy. And all of these books seem to have one thing in common. Every single one of them stressed the importance of your daily mindset. And I'm not talking about when you're just thinking about it. It's during those little in-between moments. When you're driving your car, when you're waiting in line at the grocery store. Where does your mind go? And thus, what energy are you producing? The reason that people do meditations, affirmations, morning routines, journaling practices is because they are working on cultivating a new mindset and thus radiating out a different energy. This is where lucky girl syndrome comes in. If you revert back to the mantra of, I'm so lucky, everything is always happening for me, and that really gets a feeling of luck and excitement going within you, that changes your frequency right there. And if you can keep coming back to that throughout the day, it will totally magnetize different things into your life. I manifested my dream apartment, over 100,000 followers on TikTok, a new friend group of like six girls who all roller skate. I built a clothing store that did over $10,000 in sales in the first month. From there, I went on to build my mindset coaching business. And now I can work on my own hours. I can travel when I want. I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel. This all happened very quickly. And I struggled all throughout my 20s. I wrote a workbook with the journaling prompts that I use to rewire my subconscious brain so that I could step into this new lucky version of myself. So if you want to download that, it's available at the... It all starts with stepping into a new belief system. You'll surprise yourself. Just watch. Lucky girl syndrome is the way forward. And if you don't know what it is or how to do it, then you're in the right place. This is the best trend to ever exist on TikTok because it's finally making manifestation easy to understand and accessible for so many people. So what is it? Lucky girl syndrome is believing that you're the luckiest girl in the world, everything you want is already on its way to you, and the universe is literally rigged in your favor. The way I implement this into my daily lifestyle is through two methods. One, affirmations, and I use my vision board to help you with this. You can use a vision board or even just a list on your notes app of all of your goals. You need to look at your vision board or your list of goals every single day for at least a minute. And during this minute while you're soaking up all of those images of your dream lifestyle, you're going to affirm its reality. You're going to take in all of those goals that you've mapped out and envision it coming into your real life. If you have a bunch of money goals written down, I am a money magnet. I am financially stable. Money just flows to me, etc. Method number two of lucky girl syndrome get yourself a gratitude journal so that you can be vibrating at the correct frequency to actually manifest things into your reality. One thing a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to lucky girl syndrome is you have to be grateful for the things you've already attracted into your life. Because once you focus on how abundant you already are, how you've already gotten so many things that you once wished for in the past, you'll be more confident at manifesting more things into your life. And when you're operating at a frequency where you have high gratitude, more things will flow into your life. That's just the law of manifestation. So every single night before bed, I jot a few bullet points in my journal of all of the things I was grateful for that day. And then underneath, I'll say things like everything works out for me, opportunities are always flowing to me, etc. I cannot tell you how much this has changed my life. I've manifested new friendships into my life, more money into my life, random opportunities that I didn't do anything for. They just came flying at me because I embody lucky girl syndrome. I live it, believe it, breathe it every single day. Only do this if you truly want to be blessed in 2023, the utmost luckiness you've ever experienced. You guys, we need to talk about it. The lucky girl syndrome. It's trending all over TikTok. Please tag the creator who coined the term. What is the lucky girl syndrome and why is it changing people's lives overnight? Lucky girl syndrome is essentially where you just believe that you're the luckiest person ever and you become it. And the reason this works is because we're using the law of assumption, which is that which you believe to be true becomes your reality. This is obviously what I teach all over my page. Our mental conversations create our reality. Our inner dialogue becomes our autobiography. I can in fact confirm that the lucky girl syndrome works. One of my favorite ways to start using the lucky girl syndrome today is by waking up every morning and saying one of my favorite affirmations. It is always working out for me. And another one of my favorite affirmations to utilize the lucky girl syndrome today. It's actually an affirmation from my book called From Within, which you can get on Amazon if you want. And it's this universe is rigged in my favor. I can confirm the shit works because my clients who are doing the workshop, which you can grab at the top of my page, start doing the law of assumption, believing that they are the luckiest person, the most attractive person. That shit just gets handed to them. It absolutely does. I've seen the most wild success stories with this, so give it a go and let me know.